Windows 11 has been released. The good thing is that the Windows 10 Pro key also worked for the Windows 11 Pro version. So buy a key for $12.50 only at my website and decide for yourself which version you would like to use. And if you like my content, then please consider subscribing since apparently 94% of all the views are from non-subscribers. Welcome to part three of this tutorial, the base texture foundation. We're going to install these big boys, the big texture packs as a foundation. And on top of that, we're going to install more specific textures. So let's jump right in. Let's open up basic texture foundation section of the manual here. Um, yeah, what I always do, I'm going to use Windows 10 window management to have these two windows next to each other. So the base texture foundation, um, starting with Skyrim Realistic Overall, this one is also, yeah, not hosted on um, Nexus Mods. So uh, what you want to do is download all four parts, one, two, three, and the update. So this is part one, you can download it here. Part two, you can download it here. Part three, download it here. And part four is 1.8 update. Um, you can add them uh, under the same file name to merge it as one big mod for these big foundation mods. You can do that, but I am just lazy. I'm just going to download it like this and add the mod. So base texture foundation, create a folder here. And as you can see, I'm just going to add them one by one. So these are large over uh, three uh, gigabytes almost. Well, let's just start with the first part. Click manual. And finally, we now have a mod which is not correctly packed. And as you can see here, the content of data does not look valid. So what you need to do is right click on data and set as the data correct directory. And now it says the content of data looks valid. Then press OK. And then let's wait. See you guys in a little bit. All right, don't forget to activate it. Do the same for part two from Skyrim Realistic Overall. Click manual. Also here, right click data directory, set as the data directory, then press OK and let's wait. All right, part three. Click manual, correct this data directory as well, press OK and let's wait. Activate part three and let's install the cute patch file, which is uh, not that large. Correct the data directory as well here. And then we have everything from Skyrim Realistic overall. All right, the big first pack. Then we have a particle patch for EMB. Open it up in a new tab. And this opens also an external page from the EMB binaries form actually. Go to special edition and open up the latest version, version from Google Drive. And you can download it here as well uh, as you've done before. So make sure to add it, of course, the particle patch. Click manual, this all looks good. All right, um, then we have this mod, assorted mesh fix as well. I actually didn't show you guys how to do it, right? You should be familiar by now. So download assorted mesh fixes. Okay, it comes with a options form. Um, doesn't show a parallax. Okay, first click the drop down menu, C click the original numbering. Um, yeah, don't install a parallax texture since we're not using it yet. Maybe later, maybe later you have an option to use parallax textures, but for now, leave it as it is. All right, great. Then we have um, enhanced textures detail to V. So download that mod. 0707, it's a little bit double. Okay, looks good. Static mesh improvement mod. Great, great, great important mod. It comes with an options form. So we will have something to select again. And make sure to correct the name. All right, so we want the everything version, the 2016 version. And let's wait. Pretty fast still. Um, what do we have more? The quality add-on patch file for static mesh improvement mod. Download that one as well. 
let's see, is this the one? An official material fix. Um, no, I think I messed something up here. Um, let's see, unofficial material fix. No, okay, sorry, this is correct. The unofficial material fix. Click manual. Press OK. Now I actually missed this one, right? The quality add-on. Something is not really as it should be. Okay, so apparently it seems I need to download this file also. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. Give me a moment. So yeah, as you can see, after 10 years of modding, I still make mistakes of not downloading the, all the mods. But I apparently I did download it in the um, uh, according to the history. So I think I might save it somewhere in a ROM folder or something. Anyway, this is what I usually do after I forget a mod. I just type in 08.1 in this case, so it will still show up in a correct load order. And what's great about... Um, well, let, let, let me install this mod. What's great about Mod Organizer is that you can just simply drag and drop mods here. So, as you can see here, we can just drag and drop these mods here. So, this should be the correct load order. Static Mesh Improvement mod uh, here. The... Static mesh proof of mod quality add on that's here and the unofficial material fix like this. So we should be good again. All right, so here runes clutter and proof. We need to download a couple of things. So let me show you what you need to do. First, we need to download the um, Nexus mod manager version. This means it comes with an options form first. And let's first install it to get it out of the way. So install everything. Let's correct our numbering here. And click install and then we also need to uh, download some patch files from runes clutter improved so we need to download falmer temple chandelier let's do that falmer temple chandelier click manual okay looks all good i'm surprised by the way by the fact that all these mods have been packed correctly i mean uh for some exceptions because in the past almost every mod was been packed incorrectly as in the wrong file structure which you constantly had to adjust to the correct file structure. So that's pretty cool. Apparently modders also learn how to correctly pack things. So Falmer Temple Chandelier, then we have Redway Wood Fix. Download that one in the optional files here. Um, as you can see here, right? You guys are smart enough, right, to, f to find this out. Pretty sure about that. All right, so where were we? Um, Redway Wood Fix, here we are. Yes, number 12. And as you can see, uh, if you add have a lot of mods and patch files, it adds up pretty fast. So sometimes I have to check which file I was again. And that is here, Runes Linen Normal Map. Press manual, press OK. So that should be it. <coughs> so we have the main file, the former Temple Chandelier, the Wetway Wood Fix, and Runes Linen Normal Map. Yes, that is correct. We are back on course again. Um, the fixes for runes clutter improved, which are here. Yes, click manual, press OK, activate it. Let's scroll down a little bit. We have 3's HD Skyrim variation. Click manual, press OK. By the way, as, as you can see, we have a lot of mods left to install. If you guys get tired or you're doing this for such a long time, Please take a break. Um, take a coffee break or whatever. Just stretch your legs because uh, else it's... Yeah. The thing is, uh, even if you want to force it and you think you're fine with that, the chances of making mistakes are higher. So do yourself a favor. Take a break once in a while from this. Or if you're really tired, just don't force it. Continue the next day. That's the best practice in my opinion. All right. So let's see. Um, where were we? Trees. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Skyrim Flora overall, very big mod, even while some optional mods later are going to completely overwrite this mod. An example, Folk Fanger, if I am not mistaken, will completely overwrite uh, Skyrim Flora overall. Uh, Noble Skyrim requires a main file, the full pack, and the patch file, the Static Mesh Improvement mod patch file. So let me show you that. The full version here, Noble Skyrim full version. Only for Skyrim Special Edition, yes. And here, the st um, Static Mesh Improvement mod um, patch for Noble Skyrim. So download those two files. Number 17, Noble Skyrim first, manual, press OK. 
Let's wait. Activate the mods, and then we have this patch file. Press OK. All right. So that was the Noble Skyrim stuff. Where is it? Um, here. Then we have this Skyhaven mods. Press OK. And while we wait, let's check the next one. That is Hyde Rodgar, also just a single main file. Press manual, press OK. All right. Um, Soul Cairn HD, where Valerica is being held. I hope I don't <laughs> spoil something for the ones who didn't play Downguard, but. Uh, Hey, the name probably doesn't say anything to you anyway. Um, then we have Savangard HD. Four K textures. By the way, the Soul Cairn stuff and the Savangard stuff really looks good in four K. It looks really, really phenomenal. Um, this one we have the Castle Volkyar Reborn. Twenty-three. Let's wait. Okay. For Dungard Reborn. Very nice packs, by the way. These uh, 4K high resolution packs. Makes all the world in a difference to have very high quality textures in Skyrim, especially in combination with an EMB, lighting effects, etc. etc. Okay, so we have the real 3D walls. Um, we can install it, but these, yeah, we, we have to install it. Later in the optional files from um, Clever Sharp, these will be overwritten as well. And I don't really like them that much, but if you're not going to install the uh, Clever Sharp pack, this is needed. So let's install it. Download real 3D walls. Oh, download also the main files and the alternative normal map and optional files. Pretty sure you guys are capable of doing that right. Manual, that's okay. Right. Then let's see. High poly projects. There's a main file, custom installation. Okay. By the way, uh, all credits go to Clever Sharp for these instructions because I left these as it was. Um, I, di I didn't uh, for these kind of mods. I didn't really change the description. So, thank you, Clever Sharp, again for your great work. So, 27 is the high poly project. Install everything, or do we have a custom installation? Okay, custom installation. Yes, it's a good thing he actually noticed this. So everything except farmhouse, stone walls and candles, because we have some other mods later which will. This one actually looks good, I have to say. This farmhouse stone walls looks pretty good, but I think the three D walls will override it anyway. So, okay, um, select everything, yes. Ingredients and all this stuff, sure. Statues, no, yes, no. Um, let's see what does it actually do. Installs updated mesh for statue compatibility with the mods. No snow under the roof. We've used this will only work if no snow under the roof is oh okay do not select yeah because um, we don't have this mod and else it will complain that it requires the master mod which we don't have so should be fine as you can see still no exclamation mark this all looks good great that was the high poly project then we have an official material fix high it's a patch da let's see let's check it with you download unofficial material fix high Poly project patch in optional files, so don't get yourself fooled by downloading a main file. Um, this one you need to download. And okay, that's it, it seems, because the rename stuff we don't do. It's to merge the patch file into the main mod, but like I explained, we don't want to do that. For now, we want to see what we are going to install. All right. Um, bl blended roads and cleaner bridges. Okay, it seems to be hosted by a 
external Google Drive site. 29, blended roads and cleaner bridges. Then, Majestic Mountains dark site, is that correct? Are we going to install it already? Really, we're going to install it here? Okay, yeah, we are apparently, because this is quite a major mod um, for the mountains. Yeah, okay, well, just yeah, go to files, download the dark side. It looks really, really cool, by the way, one of the most important mods. So I was a bit surprised it was shown up here. But okay, um, Majestic Mountain Dark Side. Let's wait. All right, it comes with an options form, apparently. Couldn't remember that. Let's see. Um, optional, do we have something here? Yeah, this you can leave this all on default, that's fine. And install it. Let's wait. All right. And let's activate the mod. Then, let's see, we have Cathedral, Improved Mountain Slot, and Z Fight Patch. Z Fighting, by the way, is the mountain flickering stuff. So it's very important to have something which fights the Z Fighting. In this case, this patch for Cathedral Weathers, which is great um, here. And to be honest, I never really experienced much Z fighting anymore. I used to do it with some older modded Skyrim special editions where you have this flickering in the mountains, especially in the area right White Whiterun, if you exit the city and check the mountains in the distance, very noticeable. I have to say with this mod list, not so much. I don't really encounter it uh, anymore. So that's a great thing. Better dynamic snow. This is also one um, which has a lot of patches, as you can see. Uh, okay, better dynamic snow. What is it? It's only better dynamic snow to 11 in the miscellaneous files for some reason. I did download this, but this is not correct. So don't follow. Make sure to follow the instructions carefully, as you can see, because it's easy to make a mistake if you're in the flow of downloading mods. Keep your uh, attention and download this one to the 11 at zero in the optional of in the miscellaneous files, I should say. Okay, um, let's do that then. Comes with an options form. We want the name to be correct. And we want the static measure proof mod version. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Um, more. Leave everything else as it is. Okay, sure. We do that. Great. Let's close this mod. Better dynamic majestic mountains. This speaks for itself. Just a single main file. And as you can see how important it is to have numbering here in front of it, because else you have no idea what you just have to download and add. So it's a good example if you have a lot of patch files, what you need to um, yeah, download and install. So better dynamic majestic mountains, better dynamic snow and blended roads integration. So it's also a single file. Pretty sure you guys can find that. Manual press OK, activate. All right, a really blended roads. Um, then better dynamic snow, the patches. It's also, by the way, good practice to either finish all this stuff or take a coffee break before you start it, because you really have to be careful what you're um, what you are doing at this moment. So better dynamic snow patches. Then we have better dynamic ash, which we can also install. Click manual, press OK, activate. Uh, we have this black reach tentacle mesh fix. All right. High poly black reach mushrooms. There's a mod for everything, as you can see. World wall transparency fix for EMB. Uh, stuck out of Skyrim 3D. All right. Ricklings barrel static measure proof of mod version.
Okay, as you can see, this is all automatic pilot from I am probably for you as well now. It's all automatic pilot, downloading stuff, adding mods into mod organizer and activating the mods. Then we have what is it? Dragon Dragon's Reach Balcony Landscape Fix. Alright. Like I said, there's a fix for everything, even for this specific issue. The Labyrinthian Solidor's Maze Fixes. Sure, why not? Um, okay. And then these last ones. High Poly Soul Husks. 44 High Poly Soul Husks. Click manual again. And High Poly Canticle Tree. All right, cool. And now, very important stuff. Delicious Mesh Fixes. We need to download this one as well. So, in the main files, download Delizios Mesh Fixes, download HD LOT Textures as a uh, Mesh Fix, download Noble Skyrim Material Fix, and download Solitude Wall Clover Remover in optional files as well. So, <laughs> everything except for the Parallax Mesh Patch, since we're not using any parallax textures yet you can do that later but then you have to do everything again with all the parallax patches so i'm fine with that so let's add these last couple of mods as well so first the mesh fixes fixes mesh fixes great practice for english pronunciation for non-english speakers like myself uh, then we have the hd lots texture as a mesh fix then we have Noble Skyrim material fix and the last one, the last patch file for this section, Solitude Wall Clover Remover. So what's nice to see, we are already almost at 100 mods. So um, yeah, it, it, it goes pretty fast. Also, as I state here later at the end of this tutorial, I provide you with some even more fantastic overhauls. But um, yeah, these are very performance heavy, so that's why I do not um, I, did, I did not include them yet in these uh, um, in these files because else you can remove some of them and just use those big overhauls. So yeah, keep in mind that the game is going to oh let's not forget to activate this mod. The game is going to look even better after even at the end. So as always, testing your game after every part. I would say. See you guys in game. Press run and Skyrim script extender. Yeah, and then I'll see you in game. So, welcome in game again. Um, yeah, I forgot to quick save my last, um, the last time. So that's why you also have these new MCM menus. So good practice is to press F5 for a quick save. So these menus don't need to be registered again. Uh, what should be noticeable and visible is the these rock quality, the dark side. Um, of majestic mountains as you can see over there that looks so so good i really love the dark side of majestic mountains i think it's just perfect so that's what you should should see for sure maybe some stuff from skyrim flower overhaul is visible around here i don't know but i don't care since i'm going to use folkfanger anyway and yeah um that's it so yeah if your game runs fine great we are on a very very good um yeah we are uh, doing very well i should say and for the rest, just feel free to run around. Feel free to fast travel to Falkreath or Riften if you're afraid you might see some performance drops. And uh, else I will hope to see you at the next part again. So yeah, see you guys there.